look at that. This is my time spent in front of computer. Actually, this is a total time in seconds. Let's go for today's details. Uh, per each hour I spent this amount of seconds sitting oops <laughs> sitting in front of my computer. Yesterday it was like that. The day before scary nine hours like that. How do I know all of this? Uh, actually I don't but this guy knows. Uh, this is a video stream uh, with uh, objects recognition demo example provided by uh, Raspberry Pi and Halo. So uh, this is me. Uh, let me try give something to it. It's a uh, what's that? It's a uh, remote or what remote yeah like that it's a already cell phone hmm. let me give another one example it's a what's that cup wine glass cup hmm. cup like that it's a cup Hmm. So, what we have is a Hilo detection app with uh, API calls of the identified objects to the some kind of backend. Let's see how busy this device is. Top. And it seems it's not very busy. Once again, it's a Raspberry Pi 5 with a 4 cores and 8 gig mem. And I have a lot of available resources for any type of other calculations. So let's verify our hardware setup. What we have here is a Raspberry Pi 5 with M2 head and with a Halo AI on it, like that. It's also connected to the Pi camera and all of this is up and running right now. And it seems it identifies myself hmm? as, a, as a person. Seems good. Right now what it does, it just sends data to the uh, remote API and then saves data to the database. This is a Python script from an example with app callback function. What I did here is just each time when we, I detect an object, I grab that object and send to the remote API like that in a JSON format. Good. Now, if we have our uh, objects detection on the Raspberry Pi, why don't we have a API backend on the Raspberry Pi as well? So what we have here is another one a device, the same Raspberry Pi 5 with a 8 gig mem. Here we have a portainer with a couple databases in it. We have uh, Mongo database for aggregated analytics. We have Postgres database for raw data. 
we have FrabitMQ for the uh, communication and Redis for cache. This is our storage backend. And talking about data delivery backend, these are a couple other web API containers where we have uh, our catalog data. We have our processor container, which basically runs uh, now and then in order to aggregate data and put back to the database into the cache. And we have our front end, exactly this front end. Uh, let's take a look at this amount of percent of whole working of all, all available 24 hours, 31.72. After refresh, 32% like that, it still detects me. Good. Uh, resources on a backend server, basically, it takes nothing. Not a big deal to process a couple requests per second and save to the database. Now, if we take a look at the already aggregated data, here we have uh, observations, raw data delivered from a device, something like that. Aggregated data looks like that. We have date time stamp and the object identified and the device identified, uh, which is identification can take a look at the uh, aggregated data within a couple days it identifies uh, a person a couple hundred thousand times chair of course <laughs> remote or cell phone couple time cups hmm wine glass looks good Donut. Zero donuts, sorry. <laughs> Teddy beer. Pizza. Horse fuck. <laughs> no, sorry, but no. <laughs> Carrot. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, but anyway. Uh, data identification. <laughs> fuck carrot. <laughs> Uh, object uh, detection AI and the uh, backend to get all the analytics together. Seems seems good. 